question at what angle does the shear stress go to zero answer tau equals minus sigma xx minus sigma yy over 2 sin 2 theta plus sigma xy cos 2 theta. So, this must be equal to 0 means tan through theta must be equal to 2 sigma xy over sigma xx minus sigma yy. For our particular case, this means tan 2 theta equals 2 times minus 19 divided by minus 42 let us look at it, minus 46 minus 12. So, let us calculate this and let us figure out at what angle will that happen. So, theta so this is equal to a tan look there is a very interesting one this is called a tan 2 that is what we are going to use. So, what I am going to do is I am going to write the sin and cosine x number and y number. So, I am going to do the cosine thing first. So, that is uh, minus oops, equal to minus uh, minus 38 uh, well, let us let's just do a 10 a tan of minus 38 divided by minus 4 plus 1 5 6 7 8 minus uh, 58. So, it is 0.58 which turns out to be times 180 divided by pi to theta. Oh, wait a minute, what the heck have I done? 38 that is correct, 4, 5, 58 that is correct. So, let me do this again tan 2 theta equals minus 38 divided by 58 so 2 theta equals a tan that times 180 divided by pi 33 so theta equals that divided by 2 16 degrees it says wait a minute we thought it was 100 degrees right so let us see what what's going on so let's see if that's correct so notice at 16 degrees So, I want you to notice 16 degrees it is a minimum. So, that is one place the next one will be add another 180 degrees and you will be at the next minimum for theta you can add another 100 and uh, right there sorry it is right here you add another 180 degrees and you will be right there you add another 180 degrees and you will be right there and so on. So, what happens is once you know one of these places where it goes to 0, 90 degrees from that it will be maximum, 90 degrees from that it will be minimum again, it will be 0 again, 
you know, then it will be minimum, blah, blah, blah. So you can compute the whole thing. So once you know this angle, then things are very easy. So, so if you know this angle, then you can do all kinds of things. So once you know this angle, I, I can show you a whole bunch of stuff. Once you compute... theta critical using tan 2 theta critical equal to 2 sigma xy over sigma xx minus sigma yy then you can find maximum normal stress maximum shear stress maximum normal stress occurs at theta equal to theta critical all I have to do is just go substitute it in the formula for the normal stress and I can find it it will give you both maximum minimum maximum shear stress occurs at theta equal to theta critical plus 90 degrees Okay, so if you do those two things, you will find something fairly straightforward. You will find that tau max, and this is very important, square root of sigma xx minus sigma yy over 2 squared plus tau xy squared. How nice is that, right? This looks exactly like the right angle theorem. So I want you to remember that, that is the hypotenuse, this is sigma xx minus sigma yy over 2 and that is tau xy and this angle by the way is 2 theta and this is tau max. So that is what you have to remember, so it looks like this, tau xy sigma xx minus sigma yy over 2 this angle will be 2 theta and this hypotenuse is tau max that is easy right so if you want to find the angle you just go tau xy over sigma xx minus sigma yy over 2 and if you want to find the maximum shear stress you just use so this right angle is very very important and it is part of something called Mohr's circle do not ask me why it is called more circle, I am not going to talk about it till the end of the semester. But right now I just want you to understand that if you look at the, the state of stress, plane stress, you remember plane stress means one surface, uh, there is no, there are no forces on a surface, then you can find this beautiful triangular setup from which you can compute everything you want. I am going to show you sigma minimum or maximum turns out to be sigma xx plus sigma yy over 2 plus or minus tau max. Okay. Let us look at an example so that we are sure. So, in our case we are given sigma xx is 20 MPa, sigma yy is uh, 10 MPa, now let us say 100 MPa, tau xy is 30 MPa. So our question is what is tau max if I am interested for ductile material and what is sigma 1 ma sigma max if I am interested for brittle material. So what I do is I draw my little triangle, this one is 30 degrees, sorry 30 MPa, this one will be, um, I do not care about the, I do not care about the magnitude, okay, I am only, I mean I do not care about the, this one, so I am going to write it as 80 divided by 2 which is 40, so that is very nice, so this will be 50, okay, I pick the numbers just by chance to be lucky, so that means tau max is 50 MPa. 
and the angle that at which it will occur is 2 theta we can compute that later I do not really care about it right now but more importantly I am interested in sigma 1 and sigma 2 I am sorry sigma max and sigma min and they will turn out to be sigma max or min will turn out to be average stress which is 120 divided by 2 plus or minus 50. So, this turns out to be 110 MPA is max and uh, 10 MPA is min. We got all the information from just drawing a simple triangle. I wanted to understand that is the beauty, okay. With that, we are done.